Another big feature that we also have shipped quite recently is some that you can already see here on the side. <clears throat> but we've launched a way for you to add icons to your pages as well. This has been a long requested feature, um, but it's pretty simple to use. If you want to add a new icon to any page, <clears throat> you can do so by, uh, well, when you're in edit mode or inside of a change request, um, starting a new one. And you'll be able to edit the icon right from the top up here. Previously, this was just emojis, which you can still go ahead and do. But if you want to search through a list of thousands of different icons, you can do so uh, right from here. We can, all, I think there's about, well, there's thousands and thousands, but there, <clears throat> there should be different variants for the different icons that you have as well. So, uh, I mean, for whatever you're searching for, you should definitely be able to find, uh, find one that you're looking for. They're also going to, after they're published, inherit the color of your primary color when you have them set up uh, and they're they're active. So again, the welcome page is set up here, and the primary color is this uh, this teal blue. And because we have it selected here, when we're selected, this this icon is also going to change that. So it's also again, like I said, going to inherit whatever color you have set here. But we also have a list of different. Uh, variations for the icons that you can also change from your um, from your customization settings. So inside of the customization settings, <clears throat> if you scroll down to the styling section under icons, you'll also be, be able to change if you want it to be solid, duotone, regular light, or thin. So the different variants for the different icons that we have there. And those are going to appear inside of the uh, left-hand side uh, when they're when they're live. <clears throat> 